smell very nice. What is it? Oh, it's just a gift that, uh, uh, it's just a perfume that I got as a gift from my friend. Oh, that's wonderful. I think the second gift that baby Jesus got was something related to perfume. Let's go and ask our uncle about it. Yes, come on. Hi, Uncle. Hi, Mercy and Betsy. How are you? We're fine. Hi. How are so, you? I think you're coming with some curiosity. Yes. I can see that in your face. Yes. Uh, what is that? We want to know about the second gift that Jesus got. Yes. Second gift. Yes. So, it is something related to perfume, incense. Did you guess it? Yes. Yeah. I hear what you're talking actually. So you got some gift from Bahrain. It smells so nicely. So the second gift represents deity. 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 The divine deity. Oh. Divine plan of God. Right? So that's why the first gift represents royalty, nobility. And the second gift represents divine. divinity. Deity. The King Jesus. The baby Jesus is not an ordinary baby. He came as a divine purpose into this world. And that's why frankincense was offered as a gift for Jesus Christ. My dear beloved people, in your life, have you accepted Jesus as your savior? Because that's the plan of God. Jesus came into this earth, not as an ordinary person, but with a divine, uh, with a divine plan. He came with a great purpose as a ransom for humankind. And that's why the second gift represents the deity and the divinity of Jesus Christ, right? So, those who have not accepted seeing Jesus so far as a divine uh, plan and purpose, there is an opportunity for you to see Jesus as a divine purpose in your life. Accept him as a savior and king and God, God bless, bless you. you.